What's up, guys? Sunday morning. Um, going to uh, list a few shirts on eBay. I think I want to go for a bike ride today before the rain comes. So I uh, woke up early. I'm going to list a couple shirts. Or at least, yeah, take the pictures of the shirts. And then uh, I go downstairs and I put them on eBay. But up here I take the pictures. So right now I'm just taking the tag off the, the Star Trek shirt that I found yesterday. Yeah, this shirt is pretty cool. It's from uh from 1998. So So I'm listening to Part Time Picker right now on YouTube. But I'm gonna go to eBay and list this shirt. This is Star Trek. USS Enterprise. So vintage. Go put vintage in there. Star Trek. Vintage Star Trek. U. Period. S. Period. S. Period. Enterprise. Enterprise T-shirt, men's, this is a size, size large, size large, T, I like to put T-shirt and the word T in my, uh, title. I'm going to put this under vintage t-shirt category too. So first thing I do is I measure it. <coughs> I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't see what I'm doing right now. But I get the shirt laid down. I'm going to measure pit to pit. So this is about it's about 22 inches. So pit to pit. Clothing takes a while, man. It's definitely a lot of measurements, a lot of inspecting, a lot of removing lint. Removing lint is the longest process. So what I have pit to pit equals. Let me double check that. I think it was 22. Yeah, 22 inches. Length. So this right here, I'm putting all this information in my description. So this is how I do my shirts. I put the measurements in there. So the length is 29 and a half. Um, so I'll put that in my description. I'm going to inspect the shirt, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. If there's anything wrong with it, I'll put that in the uh, description too. Yeah, this shirt's got some scuffs on it. Ah, I don't know if you can see that. It's on the sleeve. See those little black scuffs? Now, I could try to wash this, but I think I'm going to let it slide because this shirt's pretty rare. And uh, I don't think 
it's really gonna be a deal breaker. I'd rather get it up online right now instead of waiting and get this thing clean. If this was like any like dress shirt or anything like that, I'll definitely clean it. If there's anything wrong with it, because it won't sell. It won't sell for much. But this is a vintage t-shirt. I think someone would still buy it, no problem. With a few scuffs on it. So in the description I'm gonna put down um, the shirt has scuffs on the right sleeve as illustrated. So it has scuffs on the right sleeve as illustrated. Um, then I'm gonna put pre-owned and location. I put the word location, then when I go downstairs I find a place to put it, then I'll put the location number in there. I put the location number in the description and in the title. So right now I'm gonna take some start taking some pictures. I'm gonna do the tags. I'm gonna clean this tag up a little bit. Looks like one of the tags was cut off. So uh, it's kind of uh, frayed a little bit, so I'll clean that up. So I use tape. I use the scotch tape to uh, hold down tags. I just use little balls of it and I put it underneath just to hold down the tag to the pictures. So I take some uh, pictures of these tags. Yeah, this shirt's pretty sweet if you're a Star Trek fan. My old lady likes Star Trek, but I never, I never got into that. Alright, so we got pictures of the tag. Now I'm going to check the inside of the shirt to see if there's any tags on the inside. If there is, I'll like to take a picture of those too. A lot of these t-shirts don't have tags on the inside though. So, nothing on the inside. So now I'm going to put it on the mannequin. So I just want to make sure the sleeves look good. They're nice and even with each other. set up. Take this little light down here, turn that on too. All I use is my, uh, I just use my Galaxy Note 9 to take pictures with. I'm trying to find another YouTube video to listen to while I'm doing this. I'll check out some Cincinnati picker. 